If you've watched the movie Terminator, you already know that the robot Terminator is emotionless. There was a presumption that because robots are machines, they are not emotional and cannot show emotion. But now that we live in a new era where robots are quite similar to humans in both look and thought process, everything is changing. So how well can robots imitate human emotions? Human brains are emotionally wired, which enables us to empathize with and care for other individuals. Therefore, robots require emotions if they are to be ethical in the same manner that people are. Have a look at this Albert Einstein robot, which was showcased at Robot Conference in Beijing last year. This might not be the smoothest robot, but pretty realistic. Since 1995, the field of artificial intelligence known as Emotion AI, also referred to as Effective Computing, has sought to interpret, comprehend, and even reproduce human emotions. With the help of technology, artificial intelligence will be able to interact with humans more naturally and accurately. Artificial intelligence may be able to duplicate human feelings if it develops emotional intelligence. Robots that can sense social signs and emotions are being developed by researchers to improve their interactions with people. When it comes to emotional robots, appearance and expression are the two most crucial aspects. The robots on display at the robot conference looked realistic, but they were not very skilled at mimicking human expressions. Robots like Emeka may not have skin that resembles humans very much, but they remarkably resemble us in the way our faces move when we're feeling something. These robots are only intended for entertainment, but they could one day be utilized to build companion robots that have emotions similar to those of humans. Robots that respond to emotion can assist the most vulnerable, such as the elderly and children, and research into social robots have demonstrated that this could make robots more socially acceptable overall. Robots that assist in providing care for others are frequently at the forefront of emotional interactivity. Milo is a robot who can teach and learn. Milo was developed by Robokind to assist children with autism spectrum disorders in developing their emotional expression and empathetic skills, while gathering information about their development to target learning and treatment. Due to Milo's accessible nature, the kids can study his facial expressions without experiencing any social anxiety. Hospital environments are another setting where robots can lessen stress. Expertex Robin was created as a companion robot to accompany children going through medical treatment emotionally. To help children feel less discomfort during treatment, Robin explains medical procedures to them, entertains them with games and stories, and plays with them. Many robots are being created today to live among us as social beings who can provide care, education, and companionship. And in contrast to the robots that eliminated factory employment during the first wave of automation, the majority of these social robots are created to address the issue of a lack of people and support them rather than replace them. Robin Robot uses artificial intelligence to develop empathy, remembering facial expressions and conversations to establish conversation for subsequent sessions. Researchers at the Whitmore Medical Pediatric Clinic in Yerevan, Armenia, reported that 120 kids who interacted with Robin at least once experienced a 34% reduction in stress and a 26% rise in happiness. Population trends indicate that there will be an increase in the need for robots to assist humans in care settings throughout time. Globally, there will be 1.6 billion individuals 65 and older by 2050, which is almost twice as many as there are now. There will be a need for 3.5 million more caregivers, including emotionally aware robots. People are living longer because of medical advancements, sometimes as a result of surviving medical emergencies like heart attacks and strokes that necessitate lengthy physical rehabilitation. A mechanical doctor or assistant would have to closely follow the instructions of human clinicians in these more complex exchanges for both cautious physical interactions and non-physical ones, such as explaining a therapy. A few years ago, Toshiba caused a sensation with the introduction of Eiko Chihira, a pretty humanoid robot clad in a traditional silk kimono working in customer service at the Mitsukoshi department store. She was so lifelike that customers confused her for a human being. Creating robots capable of more complex thought and feelings of emotions could result in controversy over robotic rights and could potentially lead to human demise if the laws of robotics were overcome. And for your information, Sophia got citizenship in Saudi Arabia, and that's just the beginning of robotic rights. Xiaomi revealed a humanoid robot, the Cyber One, at an event in China. The Cyber One can listen to human interactions and detect emotions. 
CDO of Xiaomi said that Cyber One has high EQ and can respond to humans according to their mood. While artificial intelligence might be able to categorize what we say into positive or negative boxes, does it truly understand how we feel or the subtext beneath? Even as humans, we miss cultural references, sarcasm, and nuance in language, which completely alter the meaning and therefore the emotions displayed. Sometimes it is the things we leave out and don't say which can also imply how we are feeling. Artificial intelligence is not sophisticated enough to understand this subtext and many doubt. Not everyone is excited about robots. No sooner had engineers started building them than people started attacking them. Examples of such violent behavior include kicking six-foot-tall robots that roam Walmarts or the smaller delivery bots on some American streets. The reasons people abuse robots are varied, with experts pointing to anxieties over job security and fear of robots taking over. One robotics company executive suggested people may even be using them as an anger management tool. Even AI-enhanced robots that can communicate with and learn about their primary users may not comprehend human emotion. But if we want technology to be more human-like, it must be able to understand emotions and develop deep human connections. Researchers are working on training robots to understand emotions through nonverbal clues like facial expressions in order to address this issue. Researchers in AI and neuroscience concur that while existing forms of AI cannot experience their own emotions, they may mimic emotions like empathy. Additionally, artificial voice helps these services operate in a less robotic manner and express emotions more realistically. We are still a long way from developing an artificial general intelligence that can mimic every activity we can execute, particularly those traits that we value most about being human, like emotions. Since it is naturally challenging to read emotions, there is frequently a difference between what people claim to feel and how they actually feel. While a computer may never achieve this level of understanding, it may achieve an impressive level that is sufficient to look after us and establish meaningful relationships.